Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to explain the function of the hormone leptin. The main anorexigenic hormones, meaning those which decrease appetite, include GLP-1, PYY and leptin, while the main orexigenic hormone, which increases appetite, is ghrelin. The function of leptin is often explained in conjunction with the lipostatic theory. This theory states that body weight is regulated by body fat content. Concentration of leptin in the blood directly correlates with the proportion of bodily fat content and is sensed by the hypothalamus which acts accordingly. Therefore, if blood leptin is too high, then the body is storing excessive amounts of fat and the hypothalamus evokes an anorexigenic response. Equally, if blood leptin is too low, then the body is storing too little fat and the hypothalamus evokes an orexigenic response. So, the adipose tissue releases leptin, which acts on leptin receptors in the brain. This causes the transmission of sympathetic signals which relay back to adipose tissue. Beta-3 adrenoceptors on adipocytes are activated by the noradrenaline released from the sympathetic neurons. As these receptors are G-protein coupled, this induces the production of the second messenger, cyclic AMP, which goes on to activate protein kinase A. Protein kinase A enters the nucleus and enhances the expression of UCP1. UCP1, or uncoupling protein 1, inserts itself into the membrane of mitochondria and allows the protein gradient to dissipate without storing the energy as ATP. This is known as thermogenesis, as the energy dissipates as heat, which in turn decreases the mass of the adipose tissue, contributing to weight loss. In addition to this, leptin receptor activation also activates the release of anorexigenic peptides. Pro-opiomelanocortin, or POMC, is processed to form alpha-melanocyte stimulating hormone. This acts on MC4 receptors on the paraventricular nucleus, which in turn reduces appetite and food intake. Cocaine and amphetamine regulated transcript, or CART, is co-expressed with POMC and stimulates the release of CRH and TRH, which stimulate the release of cortisol, which contributes to the reduction in appetite, and thyroid hormone, which increases the rate of metabolism. This, along with the reduction in food intake, produces weight loss. As well as activating the release of anorexigenic peptides, Leptin receptor activation also inhibits the release of orexigenic peptides, one of which is neuropeptide Y. Neuropeptide Y binds to Y1 receptors on POMC neurons, preventing POMC release. Agouti-related peptide, or AGRP, is co-expressed with MPY and acts as an antagonist to MC4 receptors. The inhibition of these peptides by leptin receptor activation disinhibits the appetite reduction produced by POMC. So, high fat content results in high leptin concentrations, which results in weight loss, and low fat content results in low leptin concentrations, which results in weight gain. So why isn't everyone the same weight? Why does obesity exist? When fat content becomes excessive and leptin levels spike, the leptin receptor becomes desensitised, this means that the downstream signalling that occurs after activation becomes overrun and ultimately declines in efficacy. This is the reason why leptin isn't used as treatment for obesity. Patients already have high levels of leptin, but their receptors have become desensitised. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.